In this video, we're going to take a look at the specs of the Nexus 5 running Android 4.4 KitKat. So let's get to it. So we're going to try and make this a very quick video. I just want to give you all the specs, everything you need to know about the Nexus 5. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the screen, or most likely you'll notice. It's actually a 4.95 inch screen, almost a 5 inch screen, and it's a 1080 display. So you get 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And that's actually going to give you 445 pixels per inch. So you've got a lot of pixels packed into the screen. It's also an IPS panel here, so you should get decent viewing angles on it. Now the screen is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So that's the latest generation of Gorilla Glass. Again, no glass is unbreakable, but it'll give you the best protection as of the filming of this video. You have a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, and you have an 8 megapixel camera on the back. Now that camera has optical image stabilization, and we'll actually try that out in a future video to see what kind of pictures this device takes. The phone is 69.17 millimeters wide and it's 137.84 millimeters in height and it is 8.59 millimeters in thickness. It weighs 4.59 ounces which is 130 grams. It's a light phone. It has a 2,300 milliamp battery on it which supposedly gives you a talk time of up to 17 hours and a standby time of up to 300 hours. As you saw earlier here, you can use a wireless charger with it. This is the Nexus 4 wireless charger. There is a Nexus 5 wireless charger on the horizon. But as of the filming of this video, you can't purchase it yet. You have a built-in speaker on the bottom and of course your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. Now the real cool thing about this phone is that it's very fast. It has the latest Snapdragon processor in it. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 in it, which is a quad-core chip. Now that chip is running at 2.26 gigahertz per core, which makes this phone very fast. The GPU in it is an Arduino 330 clocked at 450 megahertz. Of course you have Wi-Fi on it, I'm currently hooked up to Wi-Fi. I don't have my SIM card in it yet. Uh, it has dual band Wi-Fi, 802.11, A, B, G, N, and AC. Of course, it has NFC on the back, as most Nexus phones do, and Bluetooth 4.0 LE. This device has 16 gigs of onboard memory. You can also get it with 32 gigs, and it has 2 gigs of RAM. You have your micro USB port on the bottom, which is slim port enabled. You have dual microphones. I'm assuming one is down here and then one up on the top here. And you have a ceramic power button and volume button. So these buttons here, your rocker here on the side, and your button here are ceramic. Quite a capable flagship device. A lot of people complained with the Nexus 4 being a little bit underpowered compared to its competitors when it launched. This device is state of the art, pretty much as powerful as it gets. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.